Along with everybody else, everybody is looking to get some normalcy in their lives. To get back to work, to support local businesses, to hang out with family and friends. Everybody just wants to get back to normal. What's up everybody? My name is Steve Derry. I'm a local real estate broker here in Southwest Florida. So what's in store for opening up Florida? So Ron DeSantis appointed a task force which appeared at face level to be a simple task force to start opening up phase one. However, in doing more research, I got on floridagov.com, I'll put a link below, and it basically lists out his entire task force, which is pretty extensive. Now his task force is actually broken down into four groups. The first group is the executive committee, which, which includes about 22 people, and I'm assuming that committee is gonna take basically all the intel from the other three committees, put it all together, and really be the decision makers in opening up phase one and the other phases to follow. The second committee is the Agricultural, Finance, Government, Healthcare, Management, and Professional Services, and that includes about 30 people. The third group is Tourism, Construction, Real Estate, Recreation, Retail, and Transportation, and that consists of 37 people. And the fourth group is Administrative, Education, Information, Technology, Manufacturing, Utilities, and Wholesale, and that consists of about 24 people. Now, all the people mentioned in this are just not average citizens. There are CEOs, there are corporate execs, there are doctors, there are board of directors. These are highly influential people in our area in Florida, and some of which are coming from outside of Florida. Now with that many people, I hope it doesn't confuse matters, but with that many people and that kind of intellect, I'm sure they're going to come up with some good resolutions for laying out these phases. Now DeSantis, he was highly criticized for being pretty much one of the last states to kind of shut things down. And one of the biggest reasons was spring break. I mean, look at almost every college town where do people go for spring break and many times it's Florida destination. So we had a ton, a ton of people out on the beaches, young college kids out on the beaches, basically just hanging out, relaxing, enjoying things. But even a popular spring break destination in Southwest Florida here on Fort Myers Beach, local authorities were actually getting on the news and saying to the parents from other states, if you have children or any children or kids or spring breakers that are here in the state of Florida, tell them to go home. And I get it, I was in college as well, and you know, you, you hear this kind of stuff on the news, but you really don't think much about it. You think you're invincible, and, and uh, you know, a lot of people were nervous because there was just so many people all together, and you know, at the end of the day, spring breakers are, are socializing heavily, and uh, that was one thing that Florida had to, uh, had to really figure things out in a timely manner to um, make sure that everybody is practicing safe social distancing. Fortunately, it does appear that things are starting to loosening up. Uh, DeSantis did call for some uh, beaches in North Florida to start opening up. I know of some parks that are starting to open up as well, which is fantastic because I think a lot of people do need to get out. They do need to get out in the sunshine. Uh, they do need to get out in nature just, uh, just to boost their immune system all together. And all things considered, I'm over on Bonita Beach and uh, this is one of the only beaches that I know of that actually allowed us to still utilize the beach, sit on the beach. As long as we maintain social distancing, the, the local authorities here had no problems uh, just leaving us alone, whether we're walking or swimming or even sitting on the beach. As long as we maintain that distance, they really left us alone. Um, I can't say that for Fort Myers Beach. Uh, went over there, it's pretty much a ghost town. And uh, last week I was over in Fort Lauderdale Beach and that was completely closed down as well. As a small business owner and in the industry of real estate, we are considered essential. So we're doing okay, but unfortunately, you know, it's, it's saddening, it's almost depressing when you are driving around while working and you're seeing all these other businesses completely shut down. It's almost kind of eerie and I know a lot of people are really looking forward to getting back to work and getting back to some normalcy in their lives. I'll put the link below for the government site for those four committees so you guys can see exactly who's in what committee and who they are. And um, anyway, I hope everybody is doing well and uh, when things do get back to somewhat being normal, I encourage you guys to support your local businesses. They are gonna need it. Appreciate it, appreciate you guys watching and uh, if you want more content regarding Florida, go ahead and subscribe, like this video and we appreciate the support. See ya.